Hi everyone, Erin Phillips here and I am just going to talk to you about uploading samples and the different options that you have for that here in FreshGrade. So I'm just back in Funny Man Phillips profile account and <clears throat> the first option that I'm going to show you here is add new. So if your teacher has not set up a, an assignment for you or uh, maybe they have and you want to share with them something different um, that they're unaware of, um, then you can go add new and you can say, uh, this is my picture, okay? And then you go upload and you're gonna choose something to upload. So I'm gonna choose this picture here. Okay, and you can see that it is now attached with uh, this comment. I'm going to press save and you can see it's processing up here and in a moment it will show up right here next to there you are okay so that's the picture you can see who made the comment and you can see added by funny man Phillips so you can see who uploaded it as well all right then from there uh, maybe you forgot to say something about that and you want to add a comment. You can still continue to add comments as many as you want. Another way that you can choose to upload a sample is maybe uh, this was your first draft, say. So pretend this picture was your first draft of that photo and you wanted to upload um, a a better draft. You had revised it and you wanted to upload a different draft. So uh, then you would go in to upload like I did and I'm going to choose this dog. He's going to be my final draft. So again it's processing here and it's going to show up again linked to this one here. Okay so now it's showing two small thumbnails so I can click between those those thumbnails, there's, there's the dog, okay? And there's the main one that was up first, okay? And again, you can add comments there as well. All right, when you go to upload, you can upload a number of different types of things. You can upload a photo, you can upload a document, a scan, a video. So when I go to add new, okay, and upload, Okay, I can choose anything on my computer or mobile device to upload. So maybe I want to choose um, this document here, or maybe I want to choose this uh, screenshot here. I can choose anything to upload. If, let's say, I wanted to choose uh, to link to a Google document, then all I would need to do is go into that Google document and uh, get the link from it. So let's do that right now. All right, here I am in a Google document that is part of my Google Drive, and I am going to just grab this by doing um, either Command C or Control C, depending what kind of computer you're using. And I'm just going to copy that, okay, back into Funny Man Phillips, and I'm just going to go either control V on a PC or control or command V on a Mac and I'm going to go save and I'm going to I'm going to add a comment here so that it's not just some random document my teacher has no idea what it is until she clicks it open. I'm going to say that this is my first whoop, first draft of the advert. Okay, put a space in, make it neat, go save. Now we'll watch what happens. Okay, so now that's a live link. And if I were to click into that link, it would bring up that document again for me. So you can see there's a few different ways. You can upload directly from your computer or you can grab something on the web. Maybe you want to show something to your teacher about some research you were doing and you found a really cool video and you wanna ask uh, your teacher's opinion on it or you want to share it with them, whatever. Uh, any link that you put in there in the text uh, in the comment box will be a live link for you. Uh, hopefully that shows you how to interact with the samples portion and how to upload them. If you have questions, please let me know.